As I have said on this channel many times, there are a few things in life I enjoy more than unboxing new tech. And in this video, I get to do exactly that, but it's a very special version of that for me. I have here the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. The last time I owned an S series phone was the Galaxy S3. I've never owned a Note, and I've especially never owned an Ultra version of one of these phones, so I am very, very excited to unbox this thing. I don't remember what the color is called, but it is blue. So if you want to see the blue version of the phone, that is what I have here. So without any more introing, and we will get into the unboxing. That is the color of uh, this phone as far as I am aware. You know what this thing is, right? There's really nothing on the box. The unboxing experience is going to be extremely brief because look how small the thing is. All right, open the box, and it looks like, that's interesting, there's like a cutout there for the uh, cameras. Looks like in here we have a USB-C to C cable. Looks like some paperwork, and then a SIM ejector tool. There is the phone itself, and that appears to be pretty much it, guys. That's everything. Ooh, okay. I think I really like that color. I hope that's coming through in the camera, but that is, it's a very light blue, but it is in fact blue. And then there we have the device itself. Okay, so the edges are indeed fairly flat. It is fairly squared off, if you can see that. Looks like we have here your power button, volume rocker, probably a microphone up there. There's some stuff to peel off. Uh, this side has nothing on it. The bottom we have USB-C, a speaker, and then the S pin, which I think you have to push in. Yeah, and then it pops out. So there you go. That is the little S pin that lives in the silo, just like the old Note phones. I mean, obviously, this is a very solid feeling phone. Look how big those camera bumps are, though. Those things stick out quite a ways. Those are some serious, real deal cameras. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. I'm going to quickly run through the setup and let's get some first impressions. All right, so we're going to quickly go through this setup process here. I don't have my SIM in it just yet, but I will be moving my primary SIM into this to use it for at least a few days. We're going to agree to these. There is a little bit of wobble, right, because of those giant camera bumps. So that's definitely a thing that is going to potentially be a little bit annoying. Um, I almost never use these cloud backups. I like to just start fresh. As we're moving through this, here's a little bit of a size comparison next to the Z Fold 4, which we are definitely going to be doing some comparing with, opening up into the tablet mode. You can see that this is definitely a large phone, but definitely not anything like having a true foldable like this. But it's going to be very, very interesting to see how I feel going, you know, from using something like the Fold or the Duo to the S23 Ultra, which is a standard uh, slab style phone. Let's add some fingerprints here. Seems decent. Moving right along, we are, of course, going to go with dark mode, which is uh, the way I, I always go, and I believe that we should be absolutely finished up now. So let's move the Z Fold out of the way. And now one quick thing I want to do is let's check out that fingerprint sensor. Let's see how fast this is. So we're going to wake it up. And yeah, that seems not bad at all. Do you actually need to do anything? No, you can just touch it and it wakes straight up. Very, very good. Uh, Google feed looks like it's to the left there. Enrollment complete. You're <laughs> okay. So I put in my SIM, so it needs to restart once again. One thing I'm gonna have to immediately do is get rid of these controls down here and switch over to uh, gesture controls, which is under display navigation bar. Let's go to swipe gestures, bye-bye, get rid of all that stuff. Uh, let's also quickly go into screen resolution and make sure that we are set to 1440p because you know, you're paying for a super high res screen. Why not? You're gonna wanna have that like that. What is this bar down here? I'm not familiar with this. Oh, that's like for Samsung Wallet. Interesting, I'm gonna have to worry about that later. That might need to go away as well. Maybe I can see myself accidentally uh, swiping into things that I am not intending to. Let's take a quick moment here and let's look at the camera app because obviously I'm used to using my Z Fold and I actually do really like that camera, but I've never messed with this camera 
before on a, on this particular device. So I'm most curious about this 10X optical zoom. So I'm gonna turn around and take a picture. And I mean, I'm just gonna tell you straight out, that's really, really cool to be able to take a picture at 10X. That's like all the way across the room and that looks really, really solid. So this is gonna be a really fun camera to mess around with. And in fact, that's what I'm about to go do. I'm losing some daylight here, probably gonna go for a walk with my wife around the neighborhood and uh, try out this new camera as I continue setting this thing up. Now we know this thing of course has the absolute top of the line specifications, the new Snapdragon, what is it, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is what this thing is called. It's got all the RAM, all the storage, and you know, yeah, when you're sitting here playing with this thing, opening up different applications, it's going to load them very, very quickly. Apps that I've not loaded as of yet, you can see how smooth this is. I mean, all the stuff I'm opening, I'm opening for the first time, and all of this stuff is going very, very quickly. This should be absolutely no shock to anyone. The efficiency is something I'm going to have to continue, you know, testing over the next few days to see what kind of battery life I'm going to be getting as well. But I think at this point, it's probably about all I'm going to do in this quick first impressions video, because like I said, I need to start really in earnest using this thing now, which is what I'm going to go do. So if you want to see my continued coverage of this lovely looking device, you're going to need to subscribe to the channel to catch those videos. I will link in the description a link to both Samsung and Best Buy. If you're thinking about purchasing this device, affiliate links will be available for you to use to help support the channel as well. I'm going to have all kinds of coverage, guys. We're going to do a gaming video. We're going to do a camera comparison to the Z Fold, a full camera review. Maybe, maybe those will be the same video. Probably don't need to do two different videos like that. We're going to do a tips and tricks video. We're going to do an accessories video. So again, subscribe so you don't miss out on all of that good stuff that is coming very, very soon. I will see you guys on that next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.